Hi Leo, this is going to be your love reading for the rest of November. This is going to be for the 16th to the 30th. For the sign of Leo, this could be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, this also can be for Western Astrology or 13 Sign Sidereal Astrology. It's up to you, whichever one resonates for you. However, you can get a reading with me. I am a 13 Sign Astrologer if you'd like to check that out in the description box below. I also do personal readings. I do a bunch of stuff, all right? I got products out here in these streets. Check them out, okay? I love this Love Thyself oil. Like, I'm serious. I love it. I wear it every day now. Um, and I've just been loving on myself, right? Confidence. So let's see what's going on with you and your person. The mutual energy, I did not expect to see this, is Juno. Juno, you guys know if you've heard me talk about her. I've talked about her a few times. She is the asteroid of marriage. She was also Zeus's wife, okay? Also one of my favorite movies. Um, I guess it's Elliot Page now, but shout out to Elliot Page, who used to be Ellen Page, one of my favorite movies ever. But yes, Juno um, is your mutual energy between you and your person, and we also have Mars. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that some of you might be dealing with an Aries, right, with the Mars energy here, or a Scorpio, but I do feel like, yeah, because Leo was all up in Scorpio's reading, by the way, but um, I feel like you, there's a push towards marriage. With the Mars and Juno energy here, it definitely feels like a push towards marriage. Like, if someone had Mars and Juno conjunct in their chart, which there's a person out there with this <laughs> placement, right, they are going to be really geared towards long-term commitment in marriage, okay, um, Juno will tell you what type of spouse you're going to have and when you will also meet your spouse or when you will get married. I've, um, I've known two people in my personal life who's gotten married during their Juno returns. One actually got married on their actual date of their Juno return. So Juno is actually very important when it comes to marriage. A lot of people think it's Venus and Saturn. It is, but Juno is also plays a big part. So there's your astrology lesson for the day. If you'd like to get your chart read by me, please do so. As you can see, I'm very thorough with those things, right? So let's see what your person's energy is towards you, Leo. Why do we have this marriage energy out here? What's going on? What is going on with Leo's person spirit? What are the, What is their energy towards the relationship? So they're viewing the relationship as the lovers. Interesting. We also have the five of swords at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, this could be someone who feels like you have another person. I don't know why I'm getting that this person feels like you have someone else. It could very well be them and that's why they feel, you know, guilty or nervous because they're the ones with a third party, but they might feel like you have someone else uh, with the five of swords here, okay? We know that's Gemini's card. Leos and Geminis are drawn to each other. So it could definitely be a Gemini you're dealing with for some of you. What is this person's like feelings towards the relationship? What is going on with Leo's person? What do they need to know about their person during this time spirit? What's important for them to know? Leo's need to know. What is going on? 16th through the 30th. What do Leo's need to know? All right, we got a couple cards. We have the death at the bottom of the deck. Again, I said Scorpio. The Empress. Wow. <laughs> Not Empress next to Juno, though. Why? I just went into this whole spiel about it. The Three of Cups. Yeah, there's a third party here for some of you. There is a third party. I feel like for some of you, this feel, this feels like somebody who might feel like they have to take you from someone. <laughs> Lord, okay. This feels like somebody who feels like they might have to take you from someone or they have to leave someone to be with you. I don't know why I'm getting that, but it's definitely a strong push towards one of those two things. Okay, they definitely view you as the Empress if you're already married, your person could think you have another person. They could think that you are, you know, engaging in an affair. And I don't feel like this person wants to lose you. I'm hearing fight for you by Rico Love in my head. You better hope he's down to fight for you. Because I'm down to fight for you. I can't sing right now because obviously you can hear I'm under the weather. But I'm about to go get my some of my herbal renaissance immune builder tea. Shout out to um, Jessica a Leo, gang, gang. Hopefully she's watching this. Tag your shit down in the comments, Jess. No, I'm just playing. But seriously, I'm about to take her tea because obviously I'm under the weather. So um, yeah, I definitely feel like there's somebody who feels like they need to fight for you. Definitely listen to that song, Rico Love, um, Fight For You, because that's coming through to my head, all right? And I usually try to avoid that song because it triggers me a little bit, which will go, that's not a story for right now. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep that for a later date, but it is coming to my head. So we have the Two of Cups here. You're seeing this person as a soulmate, not the four of wands. Okay, Leo. 
So you're definitely seeing this person as a soulmate and someone that you wouldn't mind uh, marrying as well. But let's see, what is the issue? Because y'all wouldn't be watching me otherwise, right? Let me stop. Y'all would, y'all would. The Nine of Cups. You love them, but you love, I love me enough for the both of us. I love me. I love me enough for the both of us. And then here I say, I'm not going to sing, but I'm over here singing. Um, I'm hearing that song by Janae. Uh, no, it's actually um, Drake and Janae Akeo. It's from time. So I love me enough for the both of us. So you love this person, but you don't love them enough that you're going to lose yourself in them just because they're a, a soulmate or someone that you could see yourself with long term. Um, <clears throat> doesn't mean you're going to like keep chasing this person because I feel like th they might be the one who has a third party or a choice between two people they are seeing you as this but honestly I think you're just in the energy of self-love nine of cups that's been coming that came out for three signs Scorpio Taurus and Leo all had that 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 energy I believe that nine of cups self-love energy and it's interesting because those are all the fixed signs well other than Aquarius but you know um you know there's there's an energy of yeah you would really love to be with this person you would really love to have a long-term commitment with this person but i feel like there's something keeping you two from getting to that point and it's put you in this really like self-love love mode energy where it's like yeah i love you but i love me enough for the both of us i love myself more <laughs> and that's not a bad thing you should love yourself more than you know putting yourself in a place where you have to sacrifice your dignity so um, I am very interested to figure out what the problem is because both of you see each other as long-term commitment committed partners. We have the Empress here. We have the Ten of Pentacles. But this Lovers in the Three of Cups on your person's side is telling me that there's a third-party influence here, okay? Your person is, making a, is trying to make a decision between you and something or someone else. For a lot of you, this feels like someone. Three of Cups and the Lovers, it's someone, all right? Let me get a card about Juno before I get into the extended just to see why is Juno here? The Six of Swords. Yeah, there might be somebody who has to make a move towards you. Nine of Pentacles. They might need to become single first. Six of Swords. So something significant might happen within the next six weeks for you. Okay. The signs I see here are definitely Gemini, Cancer, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Scorpio. Uh... I think I already said Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, and Virgo. All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and move into the extended because I feel like that's where we're at right now. I need to clarify these cards and get more. So we are going to pull um, a card for your person and see what the outcome is for you guys for the rest of November between you and your person. We're also going to clarify and we're also going to pull over these oracles which have been on point with the reading if i shall say if i do say so myself i picked them at random but they've been on point with the extended readings so i can't wait to see what yours is and um also like i said if you need anything else from me leo check out the description box all right follow me over to the extended it's very affordable make sure you check it out and also check out your 18 plus reading on patreon okay love you leos peace